Sally YouTube and welcome back to the Not Even French channel. No, the title of this video was not clickbait. I am genuinely going to do a video about the things that I really hate about living in Paris, or at least very strongly dislike. And I know that I'm probably opening myself up to a lot of hate from the internet, and that's totally fine. A lot of comments saying, if you don't like it, just leave and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, I've been living in Paris for over five years now. I've made it my home for most of my 20s. And I love a lot of things about this city. So I'm very comfortable in being able to talk very openly and honestly with you guys about the things that I just don't like about living here. I feel like there's this huge market out there almost about how perfect Paris is and life in Paris and it's really idolized and stuff and it is a beautiful beautiful city but it can sometimes be really hard to live in. If you're genuinely interested in some of the downsides about Paris as a city keep watching and we'll dig into them right now. So something that you will find after living in Paris for probably you have to be here probably at least six months a year to really start picking up on it but it's a city full of what I call micro aggressions. Things are coming at you, little things, but little negative experiences or interactions with the world quite frequently throughout your day. And that builds up over a week, over a month and so on. And I'm gonna give you a few examples of what a micro aggression may be. So a micro aggression may be someone absolutely pushing past you to get into the metro because they're obviously running later to work than you are. You also see people kind of yelling at each other quite a lot, a lot of road rage going on. You know, for example, if a motorcyclist cuts off a driver, you'll hear him screaming and cursing and being really, really kind of aggressive. It can be that person pushing in front of you in the queue at La Poste, for example. This has happened to me before, and I'm like, um, excuse me, madame, um, I was waiting here. And she was like, yeah, 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 but I've just got one thing to send, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Same. <laughs> I also have one thing to send, get in line. Now, other microaggressions include pollution. So both noise, smell, sight, these kinds of things. So this can be literal pollution, um, which sometimes Paris suffers from really badly and you can feel it in your lungs if you spend a lot of time outside when it's a, a period of very high pollution. There's a lot of noise pollution. It's a very dense city. Motorbikes especially I find difficult. Um, in the summer, we're lucky enough to have a terrace and when we open our doors out in the summer to get the air coming in, we constantly hear like vroom, vroom, vroom of like really, really loud motorbikes, for example. Another microaggression can be uh, the cigarette smoke in your face, which happens all the time. It's very hard to walk around Paris without getting a hit of cigarette smoke, especially during the summertime. And then there's just the little daily bits and pieces, like the fact that you know, living in an apartment, you can often hear people walking above your head. So if they get up really early in the morning, like my neighbors are doing at the moment, thanks guys. You wake up with them. If you have construction work going on in the apartment above you, below you, beside you, or even outside on the street, like da -da -na 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 -na. You, you, you hear that, there's no escape to that. So a lot of that stuff may just be general big city life stuff, but I really think there are a lot of kind of microaggressions that just kind of get to you a little bit um, on a daily kind of basis. Now, one of the things that I find really tough about Paris is the customer service. I'm the first to say that I think that the cliche that French people are rude is unfounded. I think there are so many cultural aspects that can explain the majority of situations. And it was actually the first video that I ever did on my channel. But in the video, I did talk about the concept that in France, the customer is not the king you know, and this mentality that they have to serve you and around service is very degrading for some French people. So what this means is that when you go into a store, it's really common that they may not even acknowledge your presence. And if they do, maybe they're just like, bonjour, but they don't really mean it, you know, they're not like, they don't really, you know, care how you are kind of thing. And it's super common to be standing there waiting for the person in front of you in a shop and they'll just be finishing their conversation with their colleague and they'll just be like chatting there and laughing and discussing things that are obviously not work related and you'll just be standing there waiting and you just wait and you wait for them to finish their conversation. And there's also a lot of blaming I find in the customer service here. So I remember one time uh, the bank teller didn't kind of warn me about a very important aspect of my, my bank contract, my account when I took it out was around the fees on my account. And he was like, uh, but you never asked me. 
you know, it's like, it's your fault. You didn't ask the right question. There's also a lot of, uh, like it's, it's not my job. It's not me who decides not really solutions focused, but more like, no, we can't. No, 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 c'est pas possible. It's not possible. Do to madame, do to. And sometimes you have to really push and push and push and convince people to help you. So if they say, no, it's not possible, you have to try again. And they say, look, it's not me who decides. You have to try again. And they're like, look, it's not my job. You have to try again. And then maybe finally at one point they may give you what you want, maybe. I mean, I'm kind of used to it now, but to be honest, in banks and post offices and any administrative situations, especially, you can expect really poor service. Point number three, and I don't really need to detail this, but there's a smelly metro and a lot of smelly areas of Paris around the train stations, especially, and they smell like urine. People in Paris, I mean, especially men in Paris, they will pee on the streets. I mean, I've seen that in broad daylight on my walk to work several times just a guy turning by a car whipping it out and peeing on the street and i just feel like in general around the the dirtiness of paris um people do litter and spit and throw cigarette butts on the ground and i just don't feel like people take care of the city i feel like they use and abuse it kind of thing um, and it's not really community minded because if you were thinking about other people and the fact that they may walk through your piss or your spit or your dog poo on the ground or whatever it is like you wouldn't do it right so there's kind of like this mentality that i don't really like which is that well i need to pee so i'm going to pee on the ground and too bad for anyone else who smells it or who steps in it and that kind of thing and that's kind of gross another thing that i really hate in Paris and I do find quite particular to Paris is the amount or the intensity of how creepy some guys are here and obviously not all guys but at least once per day I have an uncomfortable unenjoyable interaction it's like cat calling but on crack um after work i can get followed for example the guys are like madame madame uh, tu as zero six like what's your number tu es jolie hein? tu es belle and they'll be really like saying oh you're pretty you're pretty and if you ignore them and like, they can start insulting you they can call you like sel put like dirty whore and um, it's it's crazy they can just like change like that it's really kind of aggressive here in some ways and i've had multiple friends be flashed so where a man will just like flop out their junk in front of them i'm um, on the metro on the train on the street you have to be very careful in the metro because there are a lot of creepy guys down there that will fill you up so um they'll they'll you know pinch your bum they'll they'll try and feel you they'll push themselves into you they'll make the most of the fact that the metro carriage is packed sometimes on the metro you'll just have men just staring at you i'm actually going to link to a video on this topic by the purple palace who's an american based here in paris and she talked about one of the experiences she had where she had a man actually follow her and he wouldn't stop sort of harassing her but i like this video because she said that the guys in paris are so thirsty and that's such the right word for it that's the perfect term these thirsty creepy men another thing that i don't really like about paris is the fact that we're not near the sea you have to take a train for at least a few hours and then probably get in the car as well to be able to get to the seaside i'm just not used to it being from new zealand you're never too far from the sea i grew up on the sea so there's something about Paris that makes me feel very, very landlocked. So I really treasure it when we go down to the south of France, down to Marseille, even just to see the sea. It makes me feel so much better. Of course in Paris, something that's not very nice is that you have to be really careful with your bag and your phone because of the pickpockets. When you're outside on the terrace enjoying a drink or something, you're always worrying like, where's your bag? You know, you can't really just put your bag down on a chair and forget about it. You have to be really, really careful. Even when you're texting in the metro, you've got to be careful because it can get swiped out of your hands, this kind of thing. Another thing that I hate about Paris is how many minerals and how much calcium there is in the water. Firstly, you can taste it a lot when you're drinking the water, which is fine. I drink tap water, but you do have to get used to the taste or you need to filter 
through it a lot. But it's more so uh, the effects that it has on your skin and hair. I find that my skin is very dry and can get very itchy and flaky and the ends of my hair just very dry, very brittle. When the water dries, it leaves this, these minerals. So of course, if you're washing your hair with this water and you let it dry naturally, you're gonna have like the, the crusty minerals crystallizing on your hair and damaging it. Oh, and another thing on the calcified water is it makes your towels really hard and stiff. You know, like you don't have nice fluffy, plush, like snuggly towels, they're, they're like, cardboard. <laughs> now getting onto a topic that's a little bit sensitive but I find that there's a lot of fat shaming in Paris so especially amongst females there's this striving to be skinny and kind of idolizing a very thin body frame and I found that you know there's a lot of comments that get made between females when you're eating it can be kind of passive aggressive like oh you've got a lot on your plate I couldn't finish that much or oh, that's very fat or oh that looks good very heavy or like oh I'm not going to be able to eat dinner now because I had such a big lunch and this kind of stuff sometimes like I just want to be able to eat something guilt-free without a comment sometimes I want to be able to take a nice cookie with my lunch without having someone comment oh, oh a cookie like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep, I took a cookie. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> now, something that I find very sad about Paris and it's something that I really hate because I feel very frustrated that there's so little that I can do is that when you realize that a lot of the beggars on the street, and even a lot of the guys selling all of the trinkets, you know, if you visited Paris, you know that under the Eiffel Tower and in Montmartre, there's so, so many guys and they're selling exactly the same trinkets, these little Eiffel Towers. And after living here for a while, you get to know, in fact, all of those kinds of things are actually organized. Um, so these poor men on the street selling these goods or these these beggars and they're often female beggars with, with babies and stuff, a lot of it is actually organized. So there's actually kind of almost like a mafia behind it. So they're actually being pimped out. So even if you do give them your money and you do buy things, they get to keep very little of it. I don't even know if they get to keep any of it, to be honest. They're actually just the pawns in some evil masterminds games you can't give the money so it's yeah it's an awful feeling really and it's something that I find really sad and a kind of sad daily reminder that I see every day on the streets of Paris cool guys so that's it for this video this week I hope that was interesting for you I hope it wasn't too depressing or too negative I do try and stay very objective and I wouldn't share these kinds of things with you just to to bash on Paris I mean it's my home so I obviously I've chosen to spend so much of my life here so please don't think that I'm just being a hater for the sake of it I hope that that this was interesting and informative and if you have any questions about these topics that I've raised in this video or any of my videos actually feel free to ask me down below so thank you guys for watching all the way until here and I will see you next Wednesday on the Not Even French channel for another video. A bientôt!